that high you want to sit hey, but he was great to work with. Very professional, very scary. I felt so bad for the little boy that played my son. He was like, <laughs> we had to wait inside the store before we would start our scene. And he kept looking out going, that guy out there? <laughs> was like, and then when he's crying in the car, I'm sure those were real tears. That guy was really afraid of him. Because Sid just gives 150%. I mean, I think they had a stun girl for when I get hit, even though initially we did the close-up. Then they had a stun girl come in, and I thought, boy, if Sid, you know, could really hit me, he probably would. <laughs> and Rob was a doll. Rob has this image that he's this bad boy, but he's Mr. Sweetheart. <laughs> he's really quiet yeah. and shy. And really nice. Which you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Any other questions? Think of some good ones, people. Start thinking right now. How was it working with Donald Pleasance? Um, I didn't have any scenes with Donald, but uh, once in a while we'd sit at the lunch table together and he'd kind of just stare at Nancy and Jamie and I and be like, oh, who's this old dude? <laughs> it's kind of creeping me out. But he was, you know, once we would engage him in conversation, we just liked hearing him talk because of his accent. <laughs> But he was just really nice, and I, I heard, you know, years later that he had a daughter, and it was because of his daughter that he even did the movie, so we should have probably, you know, been a little friendlier to him, but, you know, he probably was, you know, these little girls, he probably thought we were just funny and silly. <laughs> Donald Pleasant's creepy old dude. <laughs> Inside story, man. Any other questions? There's one. Yeah. Thank you for signing my daughter's hat. Oh, yeah. Look, I signed that red hat right there. That was so cute from Carrie. <laughs> also, did you enjoy playing the Norma? Did it bring out your inner bad girl? What was that? Well, this is what you guys sound like when you ask a question. I didn't see my lamps and all that. Hey, like peanuts. Walk on, walk on.
work so much. I, was, I, I wanted to be more of a tomboy in that movie, so it worked out well, and I didn't realize the hat would be such a, a great prop, and it ended up being enormous things. So that's cool. <laughs> Hi, PJ. Hi. I read in an interview, I'm not sure how long ago, that in your final scene in Halloween, the death scene, where you were choking, that you kind of ad lived it because you knew it was going to be your final scene. Could you give us a little bit, tell us a little bit more about that? Well, it wasn't so much ad lib as I extended it because uh, I wanted a lot of screen time. First of all, we had to do it a couple of times because Nick Castle, who was wearing the mask at the time of me getting strangled, who was John's friend, um, was just kind of tickling my throat. So a couple of the scene, the takes were. <laughs> Oh, that would work. <laughs> 